Next, we're going to learn how to set our dimensions from a specific measurement. So let's pretend that we do not know the height of the Nefertiti bust. We're going to use what's called the pupillary distance to determine the distance between the pupils of Nefertiti. And that's going to give us a measurement. We can use that specific measurement to create dimensions for the entire bust. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to go to my front view. And remember, when you're using the orthographic views in mesh mixers, they do come with a perspective. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to view and I'm going to disable the perspective by selecting orthographic view. Now my camera is extremely flat. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to go to analysis units dimensions. And we're going to measure the distance between the pupils. Now, the pupillary distance, on the average, women have a distance between 58 and 62 millimeters, whereas men have an average distance between 62 to 66 millimeters. And we are working in meters. I just changed this just to show you how to convert everything back to millimeters. And the very first thing that I want to do is I'm going to go to millimeters. I'm going to say keep the X, Y, Z dimensions the same. And under set for measurements, select measure is telling us to left drag. So I'm going to click on this pupil and I'm going to drag it to this other pupil right here. And it's going to give me a measurement. On the real length, you'll notice that we have 24.514. But under set target, I'm going to type in 60 and I'm going to hit enter. Now notice when I do that, my dimensions is going to change. And now we have new dimensions, but we're in the wrong unit. Remember, we know that the height of the Nefertiti bus is 48 centimeters. So when I switch from millimeters to centimeters, and now this time I'm going to convert the X, Y, and Z you will notice that it's giving us a height of 48.95. It is not the 48 inches that the actual Nefertiti bust measures, but it's pretty close. So this is how we set our units and our dimensions based on a known measurement.